I like this idea of intermission, the time of a pause, the time that the show is not on. It came from my first visit to Venice for my participation in the Venice Biennale in 2013. The space was a gymnasium, a really big gymnasium, and right away I was attracted to the risers. I decided I wanted to make a work related to intermission. It's a solo that lasts approximately two and a half hours. And one person starts from the top and it goes through a diagonal slowly all the way down. So it's a descent and it's a loop. So it's always going like that. Uh, and each person does the same material. We're performing with each other the whole time. Even when one person is alone, the other two of us are aware of what's happening. So the cues that we have between us are, you know, as you go down, basically. It had to, in a way, become more precise, you know, because it's so white in color and smaller in scale. Somehow everything becomes visible, you know. And actually a lot of our resting positions, let's say, we had to, you know, adapt also timing and our spacing. You know, there's things inside that shift. But Hopefully the concept and form is not what shifts. I'm really not thinking of it as a durational work because I'm not interested in exhaustion. It's important for me to have this work not feel like a performance is on because I feel like this can give the viewers the freedom to stay or leave if they're not interested in the work. So we're not performing for you, we're doing what we're doing, you know? We're here, we're like installed here. Making a work for the theatre, you're aware that the time frame and the attention of the audience, they share our, at least. Making work for museums or public spaces is a very different attention that you're asking from the audience. First of all, you know that they're just gonna wander in. Some are gonna stay, some are gonna leave. So the way of creating the work, you know, you have in your mind the time span of attention of the audience, of the viewers. My kind of work, the way that I approach art, it's about the language of images and who is the performer in, within these images. In the beginning, the first few years, I was always using images that exist already. Mostly iconic images from art history, pop culture, even iconic images from everyday life, like a person lying down, sitting, you know, simple things. I think I educated myself a lot with that and how to look at images and how to copy them, how to transfer them in, into live performance, let's say. There was one point that I decided, okay, I'm not gonna look at any other images, I'm gonna make images like a painter or like a sculptor that they, at some point they make their own sculptures. So they're not, I think a lot of them are recognizable because they come from the body, from us as people and they are, they come from things that stick to my mind from my education or from my life in general and some not. Some are very unorganic very not everyday life. The way that you move from one position to the next is what actually accentuates the stillness. So it's not really like, okay, you take a pose and you stay, pose and you stay. Because even if I held this for a very long time, but my next transition was fast, you would not be talking about stillness, you know? It's just if the in between places, that what comes before and what comes after each place. That is that very, very particular detail, transferring of the weight, transferring of the gaze and everything. That ends up letting you see stillness, see an image. Slowing time down reveals movements and situations that usually are completely dismissed. 
And that's the richness that we have, and that's why we don't get bored by doing it so many days and so many hours, because every time we do something from one place to the next, we find something else. Images are quiet, but what I, I like the most about them is the freedom it gives the viewer to just to project, to be with an image, open up our mind. You know, what I will project into this image is very different from what the person next to me will. You know, but it is a quiet understanding, like a quiet agreement that you have with an image. I find it always strong when I walk in a space and there's live performance. As a human being there. I'm happy with how it's been going. <laughs> Some people come and just stay and hang out here and just look, watch us. Some people walk in and they're like, oh, there's live performance and they walk away right away. Um, some just view it completely like as a painting on the wall, as a picture on the wall. They just look at it for a few seconds and they walk away. All of it, all of it is nice. I hope there's, there's time for contemplation, consideration, or let open up and think of something else, or, you know, contemplate on things. And hopefully on things that are taken for granted you know, every day. <laughs>